Hello and welcome back to Crystal Bodges channel. I've been to the car boot sale buying rusty gold and interesting items for the workshop. Let's have a look in the car boot sale bag of dreams. You lucky, lucky people. I've been to Chelmford car boot sale, a little bit of a change near Nutsford, and the quality of the stuff is much better. I found these. Vintage blacksmith's tongs. They've seen plenty of action. Look at the look at the end how burnt it is. They could be over 100 years old. Them. They're lovely. I'm really happy with them. I had to pay 15 pound, but I think on eBay they're at least 30 to 40 pound. I know. I also bought this. I think it's a hoe, a digging hoe or a fork hoe. I'm not sure. Again, it's lovely. Good edge on it. Ideal for sculptures. And again, more tongs. Look at these ones. I wonder what these were used for. Picking up small little bits of coal. <laughs> the legs are a little bit wonky. It's had a repair, but it don't matter. I'm really happy with them. They're beautiful. What a great finds. Let's keep going. It's not all car boot sale junk, I've also got a few items off eBay and I'll show you at the end of the video what we're making for them. This is the exciting bit, the unboxing. No, it's not two dozen eggs, unfortunately. It's very heavy. And it's very old, I think. Some of the younger viewers might remember these. It's a mincer. And I'll show you what are we making out of them. This piece at the end is very important. Bolt croppers. Well, they were. I got these for seven pounds. They did have a pair of jaws on them, but I was that excited to get them with the job. I forgot to film them. When I bought them, this is and this is what I've made. Very handsome. Let's carry on. What else did we get? Ah, little caliper. You make out the name, metric and imperial. That's nice. A pound. I think it'll clean up well. Got some charts on the back of it, but my eyesight's not that good, so I won't be using them. Lovely. Let's keep going. I'm finding pieces all over the place, even in skips, and I'll show you that in a minute. My brother Michael has also found me a few pieces that might come in handy. This is quite beautiful and too nice to do anything with, I'm going to keep it. It's a lovely vintage Stanley surf arm. That's nice, that's a keeper that. What else have we got? He got me this thing, I've no idea what it is. Does anybody know what it is? It's certainly unusual. What could it be?
This is a bit of fun. I believe people people make cows out of these. <laughs> you can almost see it. Beautiful. And just some pincers, nothing special. Ah, and this an eight ball. I found this at a charity shop. I just got just a job for that. That is gonna be that will be a bird's head with a beak. That'd be cool. That'll appeal to somebody, maybe a snooker fan or a pearl fan. Let's see what I found in the skip. Ah yes, skip finds the best. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make anything out of this. It's just free money, a bit of lead pipe. Also found a little bit of copper pipe, like we were in the stash for Christmas. A little bit of beer money at Christmas. Can't beat free stuff. Also found this, it's rather rusty. Past its sell by date. But it's two foot long, look at that, wow. I think I can make a nice lady out of that. Lovely, I was really happy when I saw that. These, I think they come out to a bathroom, maybe a towel holder or something, or a toilet wall holder, I'm not sure. Seems a shame to throw them away, and they're shiny. And this thing, I did a little bit of research, I know what it's from. <laughs> it's the counterweight for a draftsman's table. It's very heavy, but I think painted green they make a lovely bar of soap. <laughs> Seems a shame to throw it away. 